The Switlik ETSO Pilot Anti-Exposure Suit is designed and approved under ETSO 2C503 for helicopter operations to and from helidex located in a hostile sea area. The suit is made from a lightweight and breathable trilaminate Gore-Tex Nomex fabric and designed to remain watertight in the harshest of environments. The ETSO pilot suit features Switlik's signature U-shaped entry zipper, which allows for greater range of motion when working in or around the aircraft. The articulated and protected knee, elbow, and seat patches add to comfort and durability when seated. Permanently attached breathable socks are made to slip easily into your flight boot. The uniquely designed shawl collar and wrist cuffs protect the seals from everyday damage and flash fire in the event of an emergency. Every ETSO pilot suit comes standard with a neoprene hood and glove kit for extra thermal protection. The X-Back Molly Plus is designed and approved under ETSO 2C504 and made to be worn with the ETSO pilot suit. The Molly Plus has heavy-duty adjusters and buckles, permanently attached leg straps, emergency lifting straps, an integrated spray hood, a handheld TSO-approved strobe light, and a buddy line as standard equipment. The Molly Plus can be configured to carry compressed air emergency breathing systems. The lifting straps can be deployed in the event of an emergency. Please note that these lifting straps are not designed for everyday lifting and hoisting activities. To don the ETSO pilot suit, first remove all watches and sharp jewelry along with your shoes. You should be standing on a padded or clean flat surface free of sharp objects or debris. Step into the suit one leg at a time. Bring the half-donned suit up to your waist and place the suspenders over your shoulders. Place each hand through the sleeve and wrist cuff. Then, gently stretch the neck seal as you pass your head through the opening. Using one hand, pass the zipper pull from your chest to your lower back before switching hands and closing completely. Gently pull open the neck seal slightly to allow any excess air in the suit to be squeezed out while you squat down. To don your X-Back Molly Plus, begin by loosening the two back straps. Place your arms through the openings and the life vest over your shoulders. First zip the front, then clip the front buckle. Using one of your hands, lift the front of the vest slightly so it rises on your chest. The seam on the front of the life vest cover should sit on top of or slightly behind the top of your shoulder. The top portion of the vest should curve over your shoulders and lay flat across your upper back. Using your other hand, grasp one of the adjustment straps one at a time and pull forward and down. Excess webbing can be rolled and placed into an opening at the top of the molly panel. When adjusted correctly, the X-Back should sit high in your chest and the top portion of the vest should lay flat on your upper back. Your X-Back Molly Plus may be equipped with a compressed air emergency breathing system. Please refer to the CAEBS manufacturer's instructions for proper use, inspection, and maintenance procedures. To deploy the CAEBS, grasp the second stage regulator and pull away from your body. Place the second stage in your mouth and breathe regularly. You may also apply the nose clip if needed. To activate the vest in an emergency, after you've made safe egress from the aircraft, locate the two beaded handles on the front of the vest. Grasping each firmly, pull down and away from your body. In the event that the vest does not inflate, you may access the oral tubes by manually opening the breakaway zipper at the sides of the vest cover. Bring the oral tube to your mouth and blow into the tubes until sufficient buoyancy is achieved. The Molly Plus is equipped with an approved survivor locator light whistle, and reflective markings on the bladder. There is a protective spray shield tethered to the bladder of the vest. After the vest is inflated, you can apply the spray shield by placing the elastic over the back of your head or helmet. The clear portion of the hood should be positioned over your face. Elastic straps at the bottom of the spray hood can be stretched over the inflated lobes of the life vest. To doff the vest, simply unclick the front buckle and lower the zipper. Before each use, the X-Back Molly Plus ETSO pilot suit and CAEBS should be visually inspected to ensure there is no damage to the vest or its components. Further information about servicing the ETSO ensemble can be found at www.switlick.com 
or by emailing sales at switlick.com.